All right, opening up the windows right now, and that is a beautiful shot. We hope you're having a great day, everybody. We're teeing it up and doing it with a little bit of laughter. Do you hear that? His lips are dry. Wait, he must be dehydrated. But I have chapstick. We got this for Nurses Week last year. Sir, we're gonna hydrate you, okay, with this chapstick on your lips. Only shot. <laughs> you ready for this? Nurse, keynote speaker, comedian, the list of titles goes on and on for our guest here in studio who uses his light takes on his own personal experience as a nurse in videos that have amassed hundreds of thousands of follows and view. And now you can see him perform live right here in the Bay Area. And, you know, maybe a little bit right here this morning with us in studio is comedian Blake Lynch. Nurse Blake, hi. Hi, how's it going? We're oh my good. Gosh, welcome. This is fantastic. <laughs> we needed some humor on a day like it's this. It's so early. I'm a night shift nurse. <laughs> oh. I know. This is like the wrong part of the 12 hours. Do you need some coffee? I have some right Thank here. Thank you don't so worry. much. COVID Just don't mind the wrong. big lipstick. <laughs> 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 All right, you do, but let's talk about this because you take your background in nursing and you kind of flip it to, you know, make people smile and laugh a little bit. So why the change in careers to go from nursing to a comedian? Yeah, for sure. Well, I think nurses uh, and comedians and just nursing in general, is they're so funny, right? And our humor is like dark because we got to get through the long shifts. So it was just like a natural transition, really, honestly. A lot of work, I'm sure, goes into that, too, just been preparing for those bits on stage. I have so many stories. Like, just in 12 hours, you know, hundreds of stories. So I've been a nurse for nine years now, so I have content till yes, I die. Yes, you do. Well, I, I know that firsthand. My husband works in healthcare, so I'm sure you have endless lists of just firsthand experiences. What is the reaction from the other healthcare workers that you get when they see your jokes? They love it. Let me tell you, they come in party buses. Like these nurses <laughs> yeah. are ready right. to get out big groups. They make shirts. And what's so cool about my audience is we have nursing students that are in their 20s laughing next to retired nurses that are in their 80s. So well, that's really cool. And we can tell you love them. And you know, the love really is well deserved because nurses are just coming out of the pandemic where so many of you were heroes on the front line. So let me say thank you, first of all, for doing what you all did, but also keeping a smile while you did it. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I know we are a healthcare hero. Yes. yes, yes. And we have a certificate under the. No, we don't have a certificate. <laughs> All right, so you're also the author of a children's book, I Want to Be a Nurse When I Grow Up. You've dipped into all of these projects, so what drives yeah. you to pursue those ideas? We need more awesome nurses in the profession. Yes. Please help us so we're even you know, going after the kids. Like, mm -hmm. go into nursing, please. We are so short-staffed. You know, California does have better ratios than in Florida, right. but we still definitely need to see safe staffing happen across the country. Can you help us craft a good joke? I have no good jokes <laughs> yeah, at all. And like a good, like, so it's just stories. Like, they're all real stories. And I think my just, my experience with patients, I, I just have so many. But like a dad joke? Yes. That's good for no family bad. TV. For sure. I dad don't joke. know. This is daytime television. <laughs> if this was a late show, I'd be able to pull okay. out a joke from my comedy Yes, you show. would. But we did see the clip there about the uh, chapstick on the lips. Have you ever, are nurses really thinking that when a patient's there, like, oh, they have dry lips? No, but y'all mentioned chapstick. <laughs> so I don't know if your patient's lips are dry. Mm -hmm. You need chapstick. I mean, honestly. On a serious note, though, humor is healing. I mean, how many lives have you touched just making someone smile that couldn't find it in that day? You know, even if I just make one person laugh mm -hmm. in my comedy mm -hmm. show, I made a difference. Let's cue the music track. <laughs> Let's cue the music track. <laughs> well, I was laughing there just watching the little bit. Oh my gosh, it's that's the most, so hysterical. Clearly. That's the nicest patient Wait, you that, probably had. Is that my show? That is, that is you. Oh, that I thought you. that was Grey's Anatomy. And speaking of shows, you have so many here in the Bay Area. Talk about where you're going to be performing so where people can go see you. San Jose, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa is actually on Wednesday. And we're actually going to collect donations for uh, Maui oh. uh, oh, at wonderful. the show on Wednesday. We've so. been talking about that all morning, just what our local communities mm -hmm. are doing to help the victims and the people over in Maui right now. Yeah. Because there's just so much despair. So Wednesday, Santa Rosa, Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. We're going to be collecting donations from 3 to 7 p.m. right before my show. All right. We'll add that to our website because we've been curating for all of you. We know you want to do something for Maui. This is a great way to get a good laugh and do something for Maui. Blake, thank you so much for joining us giving us a smile this morning with those perfect teeth. I know. I was going to say that to you.